Hey everyone, I wanted to make a quick guide through one of the setup items that can be a little bit confusing for the F35B, and that's setting the calibrations for the 3BSM module when it's connected to a flight controller. Uh, it's a little bit different than the process that's covered in the 3BSM build guides because the flight controller doesn't always pass through uh, the exact tilt angle command that you'd send to an RC receiver, um, and it can take a little bit of extra work to make sure that the endpoints are getting set properly. Uh, so my setup here, uh, off screen, I've got my F35B. Uh, both the 3BSM and the flight controller are connected to my computer with USB cables. Uh, there's no battery, it's not necessary to keep anything um, powered up with battery power during this process. And then on the computer I've got Mission Planner open and I've got the 3BSM configuration app open. So let's get started. Okay, we'll start in Mission Planner, and you'll notice that I've already connected to my flight controller and that I'm in the fly-by-wire A flight mode. I've set that with my mode switch on my RC transmitter that's sitting on my desk up to the side here. Let's navigate over to the Setup tab. Here we'll see the Servo Output page that's under the Mandatory Hardware group. This is where all of our output channels are assigned to functions and given their minimum, maximum, and trim endpoints. Uh, and the relevant output that we're looking for here is the one that's assigned to tilt motors front, uh, which in this case is channel 8. Uh, this is the channel that goes from the flight controller to the tilt input of the 3BSM control board. And you'll see that in the fly-by-wire A flight mode where we're looking for a full a straight positioning of the nozzle for fixed wing flight. We're at the 1900 microseconds uh, maximum end point of this channel. Over in the 3BSM config app, where you'll notice I've also already connected, we have this readout in the transition area that shows the PWM value red on the tilt channel. And it's okay if that doesn't match the 1900 microseconds value that we saw in Mission Planner. Uh, because there's some timing differences between uh, how the two boards read PWM, and that's one of the main reasons that we have the calibration process to begin with. You'll also notice this angle limit over here, and for flying with my F35B ArduPilot firmware, I'd recommend keeping this at 105, uh, because my firmware uses reverse tilt of the nozzle to decelerate during transition and to move backwards during hovering flight. Uh, that'll become important in a minute. But the first thing we can do, which is one of the simplest things, is since we know that the nozzle is straight, we're in the fly-by-wire A flight control mode, and we are seeing 1900 milliseconds, or, sorry, microseconds sent from RG Pilot, we can click this set fixed wing endpoint to save that as the uh, straight position endpoint of the nozzle. And you'll see that reflected down here with the zero degree angle of the 3BSM animation. The vertical takeoff endpoint is where it starts to get more complicated, and also where it diverges from the previous 3BSM setup video, uh, where we had a RC receiver connected directly. And to see why that is, let's go back over to Mission Planner. Now, we'll look at this tilt motor's front output value again while I switch the flight mode from fly-by-wire A to one of the hovering modes, in this case, Q-Stabilize. This value is going to move back towards the other endpoint, but it won't hit that endpoint. Um, you'll notice that we've got the minimum configured for 1100, but we're seeing 1245. And we're seeing that because ArduPilot is commanding a 90 degree deflection of the duct for vertical flight, but it's allowed 105 degrees, so that extra difference accounts for that bottom end of that range. But for the 3BSM app, we really need to see that full range in order to set the other end of the endpoint. And you'll notice back in the 3BSM app that we're seeing something similar. It's 1224 in this case, but it's still not the 1100 or close to 1100 that we're expecting. So a quick fix for that, for this calibration process, is to go ahead and set the maximum value of the tilt motor's front channel to 1100. Now you'll see that this value has snapped to 1100 because we're telling it it can really only be between 1100 and 1100 and it's mapping that range accordingly. 
we're seeing the same thing over in the 3BSM config app, where now our uh, measured PWM input for transition is very close to 1100, uh, minus those timing differences that I mentioned. And now it's safe to click set VTOL. And you'll see that the angle of our 3BSM is reflected as 105 degrees because it thinks it should be at the full endpoint of the vertical travel. So back in Mission Planner here, when we set that maximum endpoint for the tilt motor's front channel back to 1900, where it belongs, and we might have to click outside that window for the change to take effect, we'll see this go back to 1245. And that'll correspond to a 90 degree positioning of the duct while we've just saved the endpoints for the full 105 degrees of travel. Uh, finally, a last look at the 3BSM config app. We'll see the nozzle is now close to 90 degrees. Um, the, the F35B flight controller firmware actually uses 85 degrees as vertical because of some extra flow turning uh, that's happening inside the nozzle. Uh, but this has done what we've wanted where now we have a vertical flight a condition uh, in the Q stabilize mode. We've got fixed wing condition in the fly by wire A mode. And then if we were in a position controlled hovering mode and we needed that reverse thrust, it would be allowed to go to the full 105 degrees. Uh, one last thing, don't forget to save the EEPROM settings uh, before you disconnect from the 3BSM control board. That'll write those endpoints into the permanent memory and make sure that your calibration holds over time. Hopefully this video has helped clear up uh, what is really a weird quirk in the 3BSM configuration when it's being used with a flight controller, especially one that allows a reverse tilt of the nozzle. Now, if you need support, uh, feel free to reach out. You can contact me through Lofted Arrow, but really the best place for support nowadays is my Discord server, which I'll link in the description. Otherwise, thanks for watching.